All right, so these are the tools that you are going to need. Yes, this is the wiring. I haven't uh, figured that out yet, but we'll talk about that here in a second. Um, so, pair of needle nose pliers. This is optional, and this is what I use to remove uh, the wiring um, from uh, the front bumper because uh, it was held on by a clip. I did not want to use wire cutters. So I just kind of use this to reach in there and kind of break off the back. And then um, um, that was pretty much it for these. A little pry tool. Again, you can pick up at your local hardware store for uh, probably about 10 bucks. Definitely comes in handy or if you don't have one of these uh, for the removing of the clips, uh, you can definitely go with a screwdriver, but I find this is a heck of a lot easier. So if you don't have one, like I said, go to your local hardware store, pick one up. Uh, it was only like 10 bucks. Uh, a small little socket. Uh, and Well, this is a 7 millimeter socket. And then the small ratchet you know, from Craftsman, of course. Uh, a bigger one, just in case, with an extension and a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter socket. I can't talk today. So those are the two sockets. You're going to need a 10 millimeter and a 7 millimeter. I used the extension because it was, sometimes it was a little bit easier. But I'll show you guys where you're going to need both of those at. A screwdriver with a bit, a star bit on there. And then again, optional are zip ties. So those are the tools that you're going to need to actually do the job of removing your front bumper. Again, not a whole lot of tools here, guys. So that kind of gives you an idea how easy this is. All right, guys. So here's a couple of things I figured out when I was uh, putting the front bumper back on. Right here, there's two little tabs, one on this side and one on this side. They actually slide in underneath this piece right here. So make sure when you're putting your front bumper back on your car that you slide these in first. And then you'll use the seven millimeter uh, socket to remove, there's six of these underneath the car that go across the front. So seven millimeters to remove these. But when you go to put the bumper back on, make sure that uh, you slide these in because there's a little tab right there on the front bumper that you'll need to slide these in. And like I said, there's two of them. So again, seven millimeters for these. You're gonna remove six of these off the front. And then when you go to put the bumper back on, you'll, uh, you'll end up uh, sliding these tabs in just to make sure everything goes back into place. Now I'm going to walk you guys through real quick on everything that you're going to need to do to remove the front bumper. And then I'm going to include some of the clips that I uh, put together when I was removing the front bumper. But I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Don't mind the wiring. But you're going to remove all of these all the way across the top. So there's going to be 12 that you're going to remove across the top. And you can remove this as well. So 12 across the top. Now there are two bolts right here. Oh well, one on each side. There's one of them and then of course there's one on the other side. I recommend removing these last. And the reason why I say that is is because you don't want your bumper when you're almost done with everything to slide off on you when uh, you're getting done. So I remove these actually last. I would recommend doing the same thing. That is, this is a 10 millimeter uh, uh, bolt. It's not very tight. I didn't tighten them down uh, over, you know, too much um, just because I didn't want to um, have any issues if I ever want to remove the front bumper again. I mean, I just did them hand tight, guys. I mean, I wouldn't say hand tight, but I did, you know, crank down on the wrench a couple of times just to make sure that they were on there snug, but that's all you're going to do. So, those are, those are you're going to remove. And then, of course, on the other side as well. Right there. So that's the top part of the car. But again, remove those two bolts last. You can remove these clips anytime you want to, but remove those two bolts last. All right, so now here on the side, there are actually two bolts on the inside of here. There's one probably right about there, and there's one right about here, give or take a couple of uh, centimeters. But 
you're going to remove those. Those are also 10 millimeter. So you're going to need to make sure you use your, your 10 millimeter um, socket. Now, when I actually put my socket on those two bolts, I was actually able to just remove them with the socket, not with the ratchet. So if yours is a little tighter, maybe it's got a little bit more gunk buildup in there. Um, that's why I recommend using the smaller uh, ratchet. But yes, you will be able to remove these. I was able to just put my socket on there and actually just uh, take them off with my hands and not have to use a ratchet. So definitely want to do those. Again, they're 10 millimeter um, and they're really easy to take off or at least mine were real easy. Now again, I have a 2017. If you have maybe a 2015, 2016 and it's got, you know, it's been around for a little while, they might be a little bit harder, but you're going to to remove these three bolts. The ductwork uh, is attached to the front bumper, so that will come off with the front bumper, but you do need to remove these. And again, as I was saying, again, let me see if I can zoom in. As I was saying, there's two different types of clips. So you got this clip right here and this clip right here. These are the ones you usually see. These three, there's three. There's one right here and two or one more towards the middle and then one towards the back. You take them off with the same tool. They're not very hard at all. But when you do this, this piece right here actually stays on the car. It does not come off with the front bumper. Now again, there are tabs on each side and in the middle that when you go to put your front bumper back on, or when you go to put your um, fender well back on, you're gonna need to make sure that you slide into place. Now, when I took off these tabs, the fender well didn't come off because I didn't remove the ones on the back side. It's actually two separate pieces, but I only just loosened it up enough to get my hands in to be able to work. So I didn't re remove the whole fender well. I just did it enough and removed enough clips to be able to work um, and get my hands into the bumper to where I could reach the bolts that are right here and right here. So that's why you end up removing the fender well um, so you can do that. But it's really not hard guys. Again, you're gonna remove about uh, eight or nine of these. It just depends on you and how much room you need. And then you're definitely gonna remove three of these. And don't forget, remember there's tabs and again, I'll try to show you, I can't really show you, but there are tabs right here when you go to put your fender well and your bumper back on that you're going to need to make sure that the fender well slides into and this actually slides, this, the fender well actually slides into this. So there's tabs on this that will allow this to slide into place. And when you guys do it, you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It's really not overly difficult. You cannot put the fender well back on prior to putting the front or yeah, prior to putting the front bumper on because if you do, you're not going to have room again to put these bolts back on. So that's pretty much it, guys, when it comes to uh, removing and replacing the front bumper. And again, don't forget the tabs underneath. And don't forget about the six, seven millimeter bolts that are underneath as well that I showed you guys already. So your fog, or not your fog light, but your side marker light, it's held in there by two screws that are for the star bit. I actually was able to get my uh, screwdriver in there, remove, um, actually remove these. Um, so that way I could get to the plug to see how the plug was uh, held on there. I will show you that video now. The other part of it is, is this is the connection, if you guys can see that, to the fog light. Just a standard little clip. Now what I did is I removed the two screws from the, uh, and it's a star bit, and I don't know which one it is, or a hex bit, um, but I just removed the two that hold it into place, and then I was able to really get to the clip, because the the side marker light came out and I was able to get to the clip and um, go ahead and uh, pull it off. Here is your fog light. This little thing right here, this little red thing right here, this is a connection reversal fog light. 
this thing actually slides back you may have to take a screwdriver and then this little black piece right here you just press down this little piece right there you press down and then just pull it off and it comes off really easy now the other hard part about well I didn't know this but this little clip right here attaches to the front bumper um, so what I did is I just kind of broke it off I didn't um, cut it off because I didn't want to cut the wires or nothing like that um, I just went ahead and broke it off and I can just use a zip tie to tie it back to the front bumper again when I'm ready so yeah take off of that I just popped it off like I said no big deal uh, I can use another zip tie to tie it back. and I apologize for calling it a fog light again um, just kind of got distracted a little bit but it is a side marker light it's really easy just took a little screwdriver pressed down on the tab and the side marker light came off so uh, just ignore the fact that I said fog light when I was actually talking about the uh, side marker light and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side all right, so the fog light is actually going to come off with the front bumper. The clip in there, as you guys were able to see, um, what you're going to end up doing is just pushing that little red tab back with a screwdriver and then pressing down on that black piece to actually remove it. All right, one of the last things I wanted to show you guys is right here is where the wiring for the, the uh, uh, fog lights actually connects to. So I just broke off that clip, and again, what I'll do is I'll just use some zip ties to tie it back on there. Again, no big deal. It's not gonna hurt anything. And then on the other side here as well. No big deal, it's not gonna hurt anything. So that is the plan. I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. So there it is guys. The grill is on and complete. And as you can see, I also have the easy lip. And I tell you, it turned out really, really awesome. And on the bottom, you can see the easy lip. I was really happy with the way that turned out as well. I didn't stick it out as far as some guys do, just because I didn't really like the way that looked. So I actually um, put it a little bit more recessed, but I really do like the way it turned out. But the grill turned out absolutely awesome. Now what you guys see in there, in the old crosshair brackets, Behind the grill are actually the LED lights that I put in there. Now I am currently still working on the wiring for that. So I was going to film a video yesterday with the final product, but I had a surprise visitor, Jeremy from Jeremy Black Hemi, came out to the house and we ended up talking and just having a good old time. So he brought his car with him and you know we just ended up talking and then talking to a couple of my neighbors so but yeah turned out awesome guys i love the way it looks do another step back i just love the way it just kind of makes the whole front end flush so i'm thinking the next project for the front end is i am going to get now that i do like the way it turned out I am going to get the matching grill down there. So not bad for a hundred bucks guys. It was real easy to install. It was six little bolts and screws and some tabs. And I didn't have to do anything with the existing grill uh, behind it, except for take out the uh, pieces of the crosshair that stuck out, which you guys shot, you saw in part one. So there it is. Hope you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. I uh, hope this video helps you guys out in your future products of removing your front bumper or maybe a, a grill install. Oh, one last thing. The grill that I did get, it was through a company called APS. APS is the company that uh, I bought the uh, grill through. Um, I found them on eBay. If you just type in APS front grill, for, uh, uh, you should be able to bring it up. So there it is, guys. Thank you for uh, watching. I hope you guys like it. Hit that like and subscribe button, and I will catch you on the next video.